What's up guys, we're back at the river and we have a guest joining with us today. It's our family friend, Craig. I call him Uncle Craig and I wanna give a big shout out to him and I wanna give a big shout out to his three daughters, his three girls in Virginia and he, come, he came all the way from Springfield, Virginia. Stop. Uh, what, what do I say? Is it on? You're gonna explain the uh, bank hole. So. Oh yeah, so for the bank hole, it's just, this is like a five and a half PVC pipe. Isn't that what it is? It's five feet and what is it like an like oh, one inch? Or half inch. It's a half inch with a cap on either end. And then on the end, I have an eye bolt, a big eye bolt. And you drill a hole through the same size your eye bolt is. And then you put the eye bolt through and then you, dr you use um, a wrench to get that the bolt tight. And then I tie my line to the bolt. And you want to do like from like the cap, the end of the cap, like you want to do like one to two inches where you're going to put your eye bolt and then I tie my line here. And then I have it 20 feet. This is 50 pound wad of filament. And then I have um, a 11 knot circle hook with a polymer knot here and a chunk of um, bluegill or sunfish. And so here I just tie a, um, I tie a square knot. A square knot is like two granny knots basically. You just tie a half knot and then another half knot. And then with the excess, you go back through, and then you tie another half knot and another half knot. That's why I tie it here. And I have to tie a polymer knot to my hook. Cool. Uh -huh. And then you get the sunfish out of the pond? Is that where it comes from? Yeah, I get it out of a different pond. Okay. And then we're going for catfish here, right? Yeah. What kind of cats do you think they are? Well, there's all kinds in this river. There's flatheads, blues, and channels. Okay. We've only caught channels so far, though. Yeah. How many have you caught, do you think, out here? Um, one, one, two, five. Okay. Or four. About how long you been doing it? Like a few weeks. Okay. Okay. And I, I ha I've caught a striped bass out of here. I posted that video once. Well, that's really cool. Thanks mm -hmm. for telling me about Thank it, Walker. You. You're welcome. Show me when. Yep. Let's just... oh, oh. go. Hey, Walk. Uh, we got another jug down here and some more uh, sure, bank hole. Yeah. Here. Okay. Three bank holes and one jug. I'm gonna check this. Okay. What's that? It's a catfish hole. Oh. Uh, nobody's found that. No, I didn't know that they went in there. They they actually go into some catfish holes. Yeah, they make it's called noodling catfish. Make like their own holes up by the bank and they sit in there and noodling. Do you know what noodling is? No. Nope. It's like where you go along the banks of a river and you stick your hand in there and the catfish bites your hand and you oh. come out with a fish. And that's the catfish hole me and Connor found. It goes like from here up to here. But it's really low and there's not a catfish in there. So now. when it bites on you, does it hurt? Oh, so, yeah. It hurts a lot? Yeah, because they have like needles, teeth. And it, it hurts through the skin. It hurts really bad. So, so have, have like, you done it before? No. I've needed the crawdad for a while. Okay. Oh, look, there's a dam down here. Walker, can you tell me about that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this. There's moss growing on the bait. Whatever that is, that's moss. I don't know. You see like, that hairy stuff? Yeah, oh, that's, mm. yeah. That's something. That's, I'm mm. not using this bait. Okay, we better change the bait. Change bait the change. Oh, bait change. Weird, there's like moss growing on it. Huh? What do you have for bait in here? Mm. Bluegill. How many bluegill did you get the other day when you're at the pond? 24, and I put them in bags of five. <clears throat> so this is the baiting process here. Yep. Okay. Hold so on. Just kind of slice it down in half. Yep. I'll show you where I hook them too. 
So do you do you find that they like the front half of the fish or the back half um, better? Well, the or? front, the head is where like all the sweet meat is. Oh. It's for all the, the catfish. That oh. I did not know. They like the head the most. Interesting. Yeah, and I hook them through the forehead, and you want to make sure there's no scales on your hook. See, like that, there's yep. a scale on the end. Yep. That'll mess up your hookup a lot, and you're going to lose a big fish. So make sure you do that and wipe off your hook before you pass it out with a big full of jug or anything. Fish is full. Is this program sponsored by Gatorade by a chance, or is no. it no? I wish so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, grab your knife there. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You gotta teach them how to do it. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen, I've seen it. So. Uh, All right. Charlie's right. gonna pull in a bank pole. Looks like we got some interference from this log perhaps down here. You see how the line is kind of around okay. the end of that? See that? Ooh. Yeah. Is there fish on? No, but. I can tell if I keep pulling this, I'm going to just get into that log down there. So, what should we do about that? Should we get the end of the fishing pole, maybe, and try to get it untangled? Would we that could. work? I don't know where the hook is. I don't really see it. It's, it's over on that one, Walker. Oh, see that? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, I see the bait. Oh, here we go. All right, so you got it. But now it's snagged. Now it's snagged down there, yep. Maybe I could just go to this log. Oh, boy. This looks... Pretty precarious. Folks, don't try this at home. <laughs> Here, I got a stick. Would that work? Yeah. There you go. Get around the end of that thing. Careful of your boot there. They don't want to go over the top. Oh, there you go. All right. True professional work here, folks. Oh, look at this bait. It's the exact same. Oh, it's got some of that algae on it, huh? That's gross. Mm. I don't know how that... Wow. Never had algae, like moss grow on my bait. How long has this been out here now? Uh, four or something days. Three days, maybe? Three mm. or four. Well, that maybe. may be the start of a benchmark for you. Yeah. That you need to need to be checking these baits, you see, yeah. here after a couple of days. Just so... Yeah, they might grow moss on them. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. All right, so we're going to rebait this one? Yep. All right, let me see if I can find the hook down here, because I know we lost it the last time a little bit. All right. Or do you have it up there? And sometimes I do it's use It's on that ends, log there. Oh, okay. But no, I'm not. you use the end, make sure you always cut, you cut it off. Because when you throw it out there, the tail will make it spin around and it'll create a whole bunch of um, debris. So you always want to cut off the tail. And again, make sure there's no hooks, scales, I mean. There's no scales. Right. Do you want to throw this one out? Sure, can I throw this one out? Yeah. Should we do it downstream of this business so we don't get tangled up, do you think? Down that way? Or we could ahead of it is fine. Wait, have we checked that one? Yeah, that's what we checked, right? Yeah, we just so throw well, it back out. You tell me, should I throw it beyond this log stuff um, so we don't get tangled up? You think we should just move it? Yeah, let's move it. Yeah, let's move it. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I think we should move it. Move it to be tangled up in my boot. <laughs> All right. You see it's on that stick right there, too. All right. So you did you make the decision we should move it? Yeah. Do you think we should move it? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, because mostly every part gets... Then I can see mm -hmm. how you install them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh. You want a hand with that? No, you got it. Okay. This one. We're going to go down this way? Or down oh, that way? Yeah. Hmm. We might be able to go down this way now. We wanted to go down yeah, that way. It was super steep. It was very steep and muddy. But we could try. Yeah. We could get over there now. It's not as muddy. All right, let's, let's go over there. Okay. All, right, all right. Let's do this. All right. We're going to um, put this bank ball and say find a nice muddy spot on the edge of the river. You want to put it at a 45 degree angle and put it in just a little ways and then hammer it. 
Craig really could probably do the honors on some of that. Yeah, here. Yeah, you need a little bit of hand with that? Yeah, Here, let's switch off. Hang on, hang on. You want to hang on to that? Yeah, hang on to this and I'll hold this back closely. Okay. I'm just going to get around here. Okay. You tell me when, Walker. Alright. Good? Uh, oh, I was probably get to the point where it was. There, like that. Okay. okay. Right, Should I throw this one out? Yeah. Okay. You fold the swivel and then just toss it out. Hold the swivel like this. Oh, Hold on, it's wrapped. It might be around your boot too, I don't know. Oh, yeah, There's a snake in my boot? <laughs> Whoa, do we have a snake with us or is it in the car? Oh, yeah, it's here. Okay. okay. I guess we'll let the snake go. Look, there we go. <laughs> so I want to hold the swivel, you said. Then what? And then just toss it out. Kind of like this? One. Yep. Whoops. We're hung around something. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. then, okay. Um, so Jack just pulled this in. And Jack's my brother. And he pulled it in. And this is what it was like. I've never seen this. I don't know if it was from a fish or the current. But, I mean, look at the hook. This isn't monofilament. This is from Team Catfish. It's 330-pound braid. And, um... I don't know what to do with this. Just look at the bluegill. I don't know if a fish took that or or what, but it's been sitting for like three or four days. So maybe it was from the current. Or... Look at the line wrapped around the hook. Look oh at this. Gosh. That's really cool, actually. And, yeah, but I mean, it's in the biggest tangle I've ever seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably just going to have to cut maybe. that one and start over, huh? I think yeah, so. We brought an extra hook, so. Oh, that's, oh, that's okay. lucky. <laughs> So, hold on, I'll just try to untangle it as best as we can. I think we should call it quits and just cut it off here. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's super tangled. I think, well, it wouldn't be very far. Maybe, I think we're just going to cut this right here and then tie a hook, and the next time we'll come down, we'll probably um, re-put line on that. Yeah, show well, that. this will be good because you can show how you tie the knot, mm. too. Oh, that, yeah, that's that's, right. a, that's a good one. All right. All right. On location set of Walker's Big Adventures. Okay. <laughs> so, right here, I'm, I did say I tie polymer knots, but since this line is so thick, I'm going to tie what's called um, um, a clinch knot. So, you have your line like this. It's going through here. And I tied a knot here so it doesn't un unravel. And since this is really thick braid, I'm probably just going to twist it like, I don't know, so it looks a good like four or five times like that. And then not the eye of the swivel, but the loop by the eye. So you're gonna put it through that, not the eye. So with the end of this, you're gonna put it back through the loop closest to the eye. You're gonna come out with it. You're gonna pull it. Like this. I'm gonna pull it tight and it should look like that. Well, it should look like this with this really heavy braid, but with monofilament, it'll kind of look like that, like all those lines up there like that. Was there anything about snipping this little piece off or is that okay? Um, well, catfish aren't line shy. Okay. So you don't really need to worry about cutting your excess. So now I'm just gonna put my bait on this. Now this fish uh, looks frozen. Where'd, where'd you get that? Uh... Jack. What? What about this fish frozen? Do you think it's easier to work with when it's frozen or? Harder, way harder. Oh, okay. Why do you freeze it? So it stays fresh. Okay, let's it out. I'm not going to 
And then I'm gonna go over. Should we cut that and move it so it's not as sketchy next time when the water's higher? Should I just, should I just cut it anyways? So Walker, what kind of setup is this? I know we have a bank pole set up, but what's this one called? Uh, this is called um, a jug. Okay. Call it jugging. Jugging. Okay. Hold on. So what it is? No, I just dropped my knife. Oh. Oh, I got it. Well, that was a close one, huh? Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. Try to close as hard as possible. So the jugging is just a little different. You just tie the yeah. the bait off onto a so, jug and then So this is like what it is. So you have this, this is like paracord, and I tie the paracord to the to the, this is a milk jug to the end of the milk jug and then the line where my bait's gonna be, it was the same line that was on this bank pole, the three hundred and thirty pound braid. It's all um Thing. that's why it looks like this so the line this paracord i tie off to like a tree or something and a river because the river will take it downstream and you don't want that and then the line that you can tie your hook to you tie it also to the handle of the jug and then however far you want it mine is three feet maybe four feet and that's how deep it's going to be so that's what a jug is and i don't know if we'll get this untangled All right, so I'm tying this, this pair of cord that's connected to the jug, to this branch, this limb. I'm just tying normal half knots. Uh, and you don't have to just like, like tie it 10 different times. And then, this is connected to my jug. I picked up the bait for you. Come down here by the hook. Did we leave half a fish back there, do you think? Yeah. We still have the other half, or you only use one half? Um. I mean, well, it's probably for other houses. I don't know what the difference is. Hmm. Well, I still have like 21 more. Oh, okay. Back in. That's right, because you cut the tail off of that one piece. You said always, always cut the tail off. Yeah, so. just the very end of the tail. Yeah. Now that's a different hook, Walker. Did you show everybody? Oh, yeah. That's a then, that's a triple or a, what do you call it? A, a treble hook. Yeah. Treble hook. Yeah, it has three different hooks on it, and I also tied since this is the thick braid. I also tied the uh, the clinch mm. knot there. Now, do you find that the bait falls off of that one a little easier because it's a smaller hook? Um. Well, actually, treble hooks are made to hold the bait a lot better. Oh. But it could probably fall off more because it's a smaller hook. Okay. Could be that further. Can you use it? Here you go. You want to use this pole? Can I get that? Yeah. Oh, do you think I should just leave it like that? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think you want to move it though, so that's fine too, whichever way. You think you want to get it out further in the middle? Yeah. Okay. And then why don't you pull it in or whichever way. You could just pull it in as well.
All right, well, that was a good technique using your fishing pole. Yep. Throw fishing Now we're going to go back and release the baby snake. Okay, so we found this thing. We thought it was an old rusty um, bike chain, but actually it's from a chainsaw. So explain what it looks like again. So we were thinking it looks a little bit like uh, Central America. Like you Mexico. got maybe Mexico up here. Down here is Panama Canal. And then <laughs> on on into, I don't know, these countries down here. But anyway. Or it does kind of look like, like West Virginia or something. Or mm -hmm, like um, mm -hmm, Delaware, mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, like I bet people cut down this tree. They probably cut it down right here. I don't know oh. where it came from. Probably that big thing, hole thing there or something. Mm -hmm. And they probably tried to like saw it or, or cut it down here with the chainsaw. But this has probably been here a long time. So what do you think we should do with this? Um, re recycle it. Yeah, or probably dispose of it properly. Wait, so it's, it's not... trash recycle. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we could refurbish this, have, have it done like recycled or something, I don't know, but at least get it off the riverbank, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody, look at all the piece of plastic or something. Time we got here. We got phase check. Hang on. Phase check. Ooh, 10 to 1. Let's see. I think we took phase 7 out of the mix. That was going to be the meat market. Um, so. So how are you getting it to your house? Well, Mark's just going to take care of it, I think. Uh, we'll discuss kind of what cuts we need, and then uh, he's going to take care of the shipping, I think. We got, we brought... Okay, this is moving. There might be fish on. No. No fish? All right. Okay, so I kind of saw this. It's like, look at this heavy, heavy duty wire. And if you come over here, there's all these, this, this line and stuff. And it goes all around here. And if you come actually over and around this tree, there's a huge hook. Not a fishing hook, but it's like a, a, a tow hook. Like, look at it. Oh. There's, ooh, mom, that's a crumping thing. Oh, and there's a, uh, What's that thing called again? A uh, crimping sleeve or something? Mm -hmm. There's a crimping sleeve and there's a, a cable. Uh, this is like fishing line I use. And there's a huge hook, not a fishing hook. And there's... What do you think this was? I don't know. He's like anchored a boat down? I don't know. I, I don't know at all. Yeah, that's a thimble. That's a huge thimble. That's what we used to make the bank wire leaders and stuff. But that's really weird. I don't know. Let me pick up. Whoa. Watch out. Sometimes you gotta go through tough environments to help out your environment. So. Picking up trash? Yep. Another beer bottle or whatever this is. Okay. Um, oh, it's a Bud Light bottle. Whoa! Okay, so we had an awesome day down here at the river with Uncle Craig. Uncle Craig, we got a, a whole bunch of trash, a whole lot, but we didn't catch any fish. But it still, it was a really awesome day, and we let the snake go. Yeah. So that was awesome. Hey, thanks for having me on the program. You're Appreciate welcome. it. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. You're welcome.